friends welcome to abhivyakti india's future classroom in today's episode of simplification here is the rule 1 and in the rule 1 we will find how to solve the questions like root of 12 minus root of 12 minus root of 12 minus root of 12 up to infinity or root of 12 plus root of 12 plus root of 12 up to infinity so here we will see the first question so the first question is on the screen this can be solved in a general way first we will see that so to solve this first we will assume that this is equal to x and this can be written as again this part root 12 minus root 12 up to infinity this can be equal to x so this can be written in a simple way as root of 12 minus x is equal to x now to remove the root sign we will take the square of both the sides so squaring both the sides we will get 12 minus x is equal to x square and so this can be written as x square plus x minus 12 that is equal to 0 now we will solve this by splitting the middle term to find the value of x so we want product as minus 12 and sum as plus 1 we want negative product it means both the numbers will have different sign either plus or minus then only the product can be negative and we want sum as plus 1 in two numbers one number will be bigger number and the another number will be smaller number which number should be given plus sign and which should be given the negative sign that will be decided from the middle term and since the middle term is plus the bigger number will get plus sign and the smaller number will get minus sign once you decided the sign then there will be no problem of committing mistake of sign now just for see for the two numbers whose product is minus 12 so that can be 4 3 za 12 correct so the bigger number is 4 so bigger number will get plus sign and the smaller number will get minus sign so the two numbers will be plus 4 and minus and then you will write it like this x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 is equal to 0 and then by taking common factor and then solving it further you will find the value of x but here you see how to write the value of x directly the value of x will be equal to just change the sign of these numbers and that will be the sign of the sorry the value of x so after changing the sign this will be minus 4 and this will be plus 3 so the values of x will be minus 4 and plus 3 reject this negative number and just take the number 3 and therefore the value of x that is equal to 3 so if we solve this you will get x that is you will get 3 but friends if you observe this question you will see that this 12 can be written in the form as n into bracket n minus 1 it means what it is 4 into bracket 4 minus 3 sorry 4 minus 1 and so it will be 4 into 3 remember these two numbers should be consecutive so if the such type of questions 
agree with this condition that the given number 12 if it can be written in the form as n into n minus 1 then avoiding all these things you can directly write the answer so here you got two numbers 4 and 3 since this is minus you will take 3 as the answer and so x is equal to 3 and this is equal to 3 now here is the another question normally we take this is equal to 0 and then we solve that this is as 20 root of 20 minus x is equal to x and so squaring both the sides you get 20 minus x is equal to x square and so this can be written as x square plus x minus 20 that is equal to 0 and therefore we search for the two numbers whose product is minus 20 and the sum is plus 1 of course this you can do very easily and therefore the two numbers will be plus 5 and minus 4 4 5s are 20 the product is minus 20 and 5 minus 4 that will be plus 1 so the sum is 1 therefore the two numbers are 5 and minus 4 as explained in the previous question the values of x can be written directly just by changing the signs of these two numbers and that is it will be minus 5 and this will be plus 4 and therefore the values of x will be minus 5 and plus 4 rejecting this minus 5 therefore x is equal to 4 and if you solve this you get x as 5 so the value of this is x is equal to 4 but if you observe this question again you will see that the 20 can be written in the form as n into n minus 1 so it will be 5 into 5 minus 1 that is 5 into 4 5 4 is 20 so that you get these two numbers as consecutive numbers so the smallest out of these two numbers is the answer to this question so the value of this will be equal to 4. Now see one more question. Root of 42 minus root of 42. Let this be equal to x. And therefore this will be root of 42 minus x is equal to x. Now root of 42 minus x is equal to x squaring both the sides you will get 42 minus x that is equal to x square so this can be written as x square plus x minus 42 that is equal to 0 so we want product as minus 42 and the sum as 1 so that two numbers will be 7, 6 is the 42, bigger number will be positive, smaller number will be negative. Since you have got the two numbers at 7 and minus 6, the value of x will be, just change the signs, minus 7 and this will be plus 6 and therefore the values of x will be minus 7 and 6. Rejecting the negative sign, you will get the value of this that is equal to 6 now we will see directly check whether 42 can be written in the form as n into n minus 1 so yes it can be written so it is written as 7 into 7 minus 1 that is 7 into 6 that is 42 and so we take the smallest value out of these two 6 is the smallest and therefore the answer is 6 so if this condition is satisfied 
then we can solve by this direct method and if this condition is not satisfied then we will have to follow this method now see the another question here instead of subtraction it is addition root 42 plus root 42 plus root 42 up to infinity the same way first we will solve let this be equal to x so this is equal to x so this can be written as square root of 42 plus x that is equal to x so squaring both the sides we will get 42 plus x is equal to x square so this can be written as x square minus x minus 40 which is equal to 0. Now here we want the product is equal to minus 49. Sorry it is minus 42. And the sum we want minus 1. So the two numbers will be 7, 6, the 42 and since the middle term is minus the bigger number will get minus sign and the smaller number will get plus sign and now we can directly write the values of x by just changing the signs of these two numbers so it will be 7 and minus 6 reject the negative number and therefore x will be equal to 7 so if you solve this you will get it equal to 7 now we will see the another method just check whether this 42 can be written in the form of n into n plus 1 in the previous question since it was minus sign we have taken the condition as n into n minus 1 but now we are taking the condition as n into n plus 1. We can see the two numbers at 6 into 6 plus 1. Means 42 can be written as 6 into 6 plus 1. That is 6 into 7 and 6 7 is 42. Now out of these two numbers we take the bigger number. In the previous questions we had taken the negative, uh, sorry the smaller number. Here we take the bigger numbers since we are adding the numbers. And therefore the value of this given question will be equal to 7. Here is the another question that root of 380 plus root of 380 plus root of 380. We can solve this by taking this is equal to x as we have done in the previous questions but here first we will see that whether 380 can be written in the form of n into n plus 1 or not so since this is a bigger number it is slightly difficult to find the two consecutive numbers whose product can be 380 so i have written here the options here it is 24 and 25 correct here it is 19 and 20 here it is 18 and 19 17 and 18 20 and 21 uh, here we can easily find the two consecutive numbers here if we take 19 and 20 then it will be 19 into bracket 19 plus 1 and so 19 into 20 that will be 19 to the 38 so that is equal to 380 so 380 can be written as 19 into 20 both are the consecutive numbers and since we are adding the numbers here the bigger number will be the answer and therefore the value of this given question will be equal to 20. So friends, this way we can solve the sums very easily. If it 
follows the condition if it satisfies the conditions the two conditions are n into n plus 1 and the another condition is n into n minus 1 now friends you try this for yourself that root of 110 plus root of 110 up to infinity and root of 506 and 506 up to infinity here once again I remind you that in plus in addition the condition should be satisfied as the two numbers should be as n into n plus 1 and for minus the condition should be satisfied is n into n minus 1 this if these two conditions are applied then only you can write the answers directly as for addition the bigger number and as for subtraction the smaller number will be the answer but if the conditions are not satisfied then you will have to find the answer by assuming this is equal to 0 and this is sorry this is equal to 0 and this is equal to x friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all updates right into your mail but for any other reason if you dislike it please write through comments so that we will try to improve there is always a room for improvement thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click then go to share tab and share with your friends on facebook twitter google plus and many more and to get the updates right in your mailbox don't forget to subscribe thank you very much